Hey, in this video, I'm going to show you how to customize your Acuity scheduling page. When So when someone goes to schedule an appointment with you, it's all branded. It looks really nice. It looks really consistent with all of your design. Um, so to do this customization, you do need to have a paid plan with Acuity. And so I'm going to come down here to my account and show you the different payment plans um, there is a free plan which totally works with Acuity, um, but you just have limited features and like you can't customize this page. So you do need to have at least the 15 a month or 165 per year um, option. But you know, if if you're making money in your business, you're going to have some, to spend some money to do it. That's always kind of been my thought. So, uh, but just wanted to note that. So to edit your Acuity custom uh, your Acuity scheduling page, what you do is you come over here to customize appearance. And this is where you edit the visual settings for this page. And it actually shows you a nifty little preview over here, which is helpful. Um, for the template, I recommend leaving it on the daily view. The monthly view is really good for clients who are booking out really far in advance, but it doesn't look very nice. <laughs> like it has to, they have to go through several steps. It just looks kind of antiquated. So I've been recommending to all my clients to upgrade to the daily view because it just looks so much better. And they still can um, schedule out, you know, they can click on more times to, schedule out further in the future, but um, the daily view just looks a lot better. All right, and then you can add your logo. That's the first thing to do. So you choose, click on choose file and then navigate to wherever your logo is on your computer and then um, upload it there. And then you can add scheduling instructions here if you want to. These will just appear below your logo above the choose appointment um, type. So I'm gonna um, just write something like, Pick a time that works for you below. We'll meet via Zoom at the time of our call. Um, and then everything else, I'm fine to leave the same language, time zone, everything. Um, but I do require that clients choose their time zone when booking. That way we don't have any mix-ups with time zone. Um, and then I'm, I'm going to change the font. So they have a pretty limited selection of fonts here. But um, what I like to do is I just try to pick one that looks kind of similar to either my font. This is my page. Um, as you can see, this is my style guide. And this has all of my um, brand fonts on it. So I usually go with Playfair Display or Montserrat. This doesn't have either of those. Um, but I think Lato will probably be pretty close or close enough. So you can change the font if you aren't. You can leave it as default. Not a big deal. And then the button accent color, I like to make it the same color as the buttons on like a website or on your website, on mine. Mine are bright red. If you've ever been to my site, you know that. It's pretty, um, pretty signature. So I'm just going to paste in that code from my style guide and I'm going to remove all of the spaces and click choose. And then I'm going to save changes and it will um, it will show you a preview over here, but I wanna view it live. And you'll see that we've got our logo here now. We've got that um, little bit of text that I wrote right here for scheduling instructions, which you, you, know, you don't have to have anything there if you don't want to, you could just leave it empty. Um, and let me show you what it would look like if I did leave it empty because actually I kind of like the way that looks better. It just depends on how much instruction you wanna have. Oops, let me go view live again. All right, there we go. And so you'll see it just connects with the, with the section below it. Um, the logo does if there's no text. All right, and then you have your appointment type and they can pick whichever appointment they want to. And you see the buttons look really nice and consistent with um, the style that you picked and the font is Lato, which is really nice. Um, and yeah, that's essentially how you brand a, an Acuity scheduling page. Now, if you're using, the nice thing about this is if you're using packages or the packages or payments options um, that Acuity offers, if you have your clients pay through Acuity, um, then this same branding will actually apply to that page too. So that's really nice that it also um, kind of does double duty that way. All right, I hope that was helpful. Um, if if you are kind of getting your website set up as a coach and you're looking for a little bit of direction on what to what you know what content to write how to structure the site um, i really recommend that you go there's a link below this video that you can go check out um, the video training that i have here it's the coach website blueprint is what i call it and it's essentially i just teach you the five key pages that every coach needs 
on their website and exactly how to structure them and scheduling page is kind of part of that. So um, go check that out in the link below this video if you think that would be helpful for you right now. And otherwise just, yeah, subscribe if this video was helpful and you wanna see future, um, future videos to help you up-level your coaching business. All right, thanks for watching.